Now, this news was especially upsetting in our newsroom today, as it was for journalists everywhere. And in fact, our veteran NBC reporter Jeff Rawson was at our station today. So our own Chris Kirshner asked him what he thought when he heard about the news. First, I thought of this as a parent. I, I have two little girls, and this Allison was somebody's little girl, and Adam, the photographer, was somebody's little boy. And parents sent them to camp and to school and raised them, and then for all to end on a Wednesday morning in such a senseless public fashion is just mind-boggling and sad and tragic and any other word you could possibly think of. Then I thought of it as a reporter, somebody who's, like you, gone out and done live shots at the Chamber of Commerce in different cities and you go to dangerous places and yeah when you're in dangerous places as a reporter you think okay something could happen here this could be dangerous but who would ever think of this when you're on a feature story never in a million years would it cross your mind and watching that video for final moments and his final moments alive is yeah it brought me to tears I'm gonna be honest well, I know a lot of times you know we'll go out and do stuff especially if you've done it for any length of time and you just don't even I don't I don't even think about it sometimes you mm -hmm. just do it that's your job that's what mm -hmm. you do um, but now we're kind of rethinking that for a little bit anyway. You never, you never think about somebody walking up to you with a gun. I mean, how often have you gone out and done live shots and people walk up to you on the street and they want to say hi and that's fantastic. But now we have to go through life. You know, this is sort of a, this is a marked day now. From this point forward, we're all going to be looking around saying who's around me. And that's even beyond what we have to deal with before. And as we mentioned, today hits very close to home for TV news stations really across the country, including here at WTHR. Our reporters are sharing their thoughts on this tragic event as well. You can read them on our website at WTHR.com. And we've also put together statements from local and national leaders, and we invite you to comment too on the WTHR Facebook page.